dear students today i am going to discuss social science third chapter the indian constitution fundamental rights and duties so before we are going to discuss the fundamental rights and duties we want to understand the preface or the introduction of our constitution that is preamble of the constitution of india so we can have a discuss about it first of all we have to know who is the father of indian constitution who is the father of indian constitution we can see the picture here a drafting committee was elected by the constituent assembly on 29th august 1947 for a drafting committee elected it elected dr b r ambedkar to be its president so he was the president of the drafting committee the constitution as prepared by the drafting committee was circulated on 21st february 1948 this formed the basis of discussion in and outside of the constituent assembly so the drafting committee have reported uh, submitted a report on 21st february 1948 there was a lots of discussion was happened in the constituent assembly regarding that report the drafting committee had seven members out of the chairman so dr b r ambedkar was the chairman and the members are first one alladi krishna swami ayer second d p khaitan third one n madhav rao fourth one k m munshi fifth one n gobala swami ayengar and the sixth one t krishna machari was a congress member and the seventh one Sayyid Muhammad Saidullah uh, Saidullah from Muslim League. So they were the members. So we can have a discuss about the Dr. B R Ambedkar. What is his full form of B R Ambedkar? Bhim Ra Bhim Rao Ramji Ambedkar. He was born on fourteenth April eighteen ninety one. He was died on sixth December nineteen fifty six. He was a popularly known as Baba Sahib. We all know about the familiar name of. Uh, B R Ambedkar Baba Sahib he was an indian uh, jurist and also politician philosopher historian and also an economist the former american president barack obama referred dr b r ambedkar was a founding father of modern india during his address speech in indian parliament and also a speech delivered by the tt krishna swami uh, krishna machari on november 5 1948 in the constituent assembly shows that dr ambedkar ambedkar was in fact the chief architect of our democratic constitution in his speech krishna machari drew the attention of the assembly to fact out of seven members nominated by the constituent assembly to the drafting committee one died and was not replaced in that position and one away in america for most of the time so he his uh, post also was almost a uh, blank and another member were uh, encouraged in uh, affairs of state and other kinds of activities so he also was a not active member and some other was out of delhi they have some healthy problems that's why they cannot reach in every time in the drafting committee so we can see here the dedication of the br ambedkar towards our constitution so what is preamble that you want to know entana preamble endu varnyal a preamble is an introductory statement of a constitution ഏതൊരു കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷന്റെ ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ആമുഖങ്ങളെ കുറിച്ച് പറയുന്നതാണ് അതിന്റെ പ്രയാമ്പൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വിച്ച് ലേസ് ഡൗൺ ദ ഐഡിയൽസ് ഇറ്റ് അറ്റം ടു പ്രൊമോട്ട് ദ ഐഡിയ ഓഫ് ദ പ്രയാമ്പൾ ഹാസ് ബീൻ ബോറോവഡ് ഫ്രം ദ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് യു എസ് എ യു എസ് എയിൽ നിന്നാണ് പ്രയാമ്പിൾ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഐഡിയ നമ്മൾ എന്തെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ബോറോ ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ദ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് റിപ്പബ്ലിക് കേം ഇൻ ടു എഫക്ട് ഓൺ ട്വന്റി സിക്സ്ത് ജാനുവരി ആസ് എൻ ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ കണ്ടൻസ് preamble is not a part of the content but it explains the purpose and objective with which the document has been written but it says all the details completely in a small a uh, short note the preamble provides the guidelines to the constitution so preamble is the guideline of the our constitution it is because of this the preamble considered to be the key of the constitution so if you want to enter to the constitution we need a key that key is called the preamble ab constitution the key anand preamble nu parna what is the objective of preamble preamble de lakshyangal endakeyirunno the objectives were laid out in the preamble are description of indian state as sovereign 
socialist, secular, democratic, and republic. And the socialist secular has been added on forty uh, second amendment on nineteen four seventy six. Later on, socialist, secular, in the lad forty second amendment is added on that. That's nineteen seventy six. Abam India India in the ananda parayinad aprayapulla. It provides to all citizens of India. That means what? Justice, liberty, equality, and fraternity. इधर नलगन उन्हें इन्हें पार्नियर इकन उन्हें प्रयामपल लान। What is justice? Social justice, economic justice, political justice, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship, equality of status and opportunity in every way. Fraternity means integrity and the unity of the nation. अदा अने प्रयामपल लो पार्नियर इकन। And what is the purpose of having a प्रयामपल? बट प्रयामपल इंटावे इंट आवश्यक दे इंट आना। The प्रयामपल of our constitution serves two purposes. Tenth election. On it indicates the source from which the constitution derived its authority. Correct. It is our preamble. We have written the source. Here the answer is the source. Then the answer. It also states the objects. In the answer, we have the election. Which constitution seeks to establish and promote? Constitution. In the answer, the constitution. In the answer, we promote the change. We have the answer. We have the preamble. We have the answer. Then what is the significance of the preamble? Preamble the pradhanya menda ana. First one, the preamble of Indian Constitution reflect the basic structure and the spirit of our Constitution. So basic structure and the spirit has been prescribed in the preamble. Second one, the preamble acts as the preface of the Constitution or the introduction of the Constitution of India and lays down the fundamental value. and the philosophical ideas it represents the entire constitution its written words so indian constitution is written one and the third one it contains the basic features of the constitution and this considered to be a vital part and the fourth one preamble doesn't contains laws enforceable in a court or no law can be enacted or amended in Mentioned in preamble. That means, thus the preamble of the constitution of India is unamendable and unalterable. So the preamble cannot be amended, or the preamble cannot be uh, uh, alternation by regarding some other kinds of activities. Preamble only chiyan sadhi kila. The what is the preamble? The Constitution of India. The preamble you can see here that we, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, secu socialist, secular, democratic republic, and to secure to all its citizens what is justice, social, economic, political liberty of thought and expression, belief. Faith and worship, equality of status and opportunity, and to promote among them all the fraternity. That means assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. In our Constituent Assembly, the twenty-sixth day of November, nineteen forty-nine, do hereby adopt, enact, and give to ourselves this Constitution. So this is the preamble of our constitution. Then we can discuss each and every word of the preamble. First one, we the people, which means indicate the India as a republican polity, which means that shall have no hereditary ruler, and the people shall elect their government. So in India there is not a hereditary system. In kingship, uh, kingship system you can see that the son of the king became the son, son uh, king, but In India, there is no type of hereditary system. People are electing the government, so that is we the people of India. Next one is sovereign. What is sovereign means absolute independent. Absolute independent. That means a government which is not controlled by any power, external or internal power. Government is controlled by the people. That is sovereign. Next one is socialist. Means the commitment to attain ideals. Like removal of inequality, that is social purpose, provision of minimum basic necessities to all, and equal pay for equal work, that is socialist system. And next one is in the context of secularism in India. It is said that India neither religious nor irreligious nor anti-religious. India is not a religious country. India is not an anti-religious country. India is a secular country. 
all the religions in India are equal before law. And next one is democratic republic. What is democratic principles? Is highlighted with the provisions of universal adult franchise. A democracy will become democracy only if there is a free election system, universal adult franchise system, election, fundamental rights, responsible and the responsible government. The preamble also declared that the republic. What is republic? It means that the head of the state is the president who is indirectly elected. He is not a hereditary ruler. So that is a republic. And next one is justice. What is justice? It promises to give people that they are entitled into in terms of basic rights of food, clothing, housing, participation in the decision making and living with dignity of human being. That is justice. We are getting justice in everywhere. Food, cloth, housing, participation, decision making, rights, everything we are getting. That is justice. Next one is liberty. What type of liberty? The preamble also mentions the about liberty of thought, liberty of expression. These freedoms have been guaranteed in the constitution through the fundamental rights. We will study later about the fundamental rights. Next one is equality. What is equality means? All citizens of India should be treated equally and extended equal protection of law without any discrimination based on caste, creed, birth, religion. There is no any discrimination on the basis of caste, creed, birth, religion. Everyone is equal in before law. And the last one is fraternity. What is fraternity? In the background of India's multilingual, India is a multilinguistic country, India is a multicultural country, India is a multi-religious society. And keeping a view of partition of the country, the framers of the constitution were very much concerned about the unity and integrity of our newly independent country. Inclusion of persons like dignity of individuals, fraternity among people and the unity and integrity of the nation, the preamble highlights such a need of fraternity. So the fraternity means the unity and the integrity of the nation. So this is all about the preamble.